This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCB Way you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello! Slow scan television SSTV is a method for transmitting and receiving still pictures over radio waves primarily used by amateur radio operators. Traditionally decoding SSTV signals requires a PC and sound card but this project demonstrates a simpler, more accessible solution. The project is completely taken from the 101 Things blog and all credits go to the author of this project. There are many more wonderful radio projects on the same site and I hope to test and promote some of them in the near future. The heart of this project is Raspberry Pi Pico which is a flexible and powerful microcontroller ideal for makers, students and hobbyists. With a dual RP2040 ARM Cortex M0 Plus processor at 133 MHz and 264 KB of SRAM, the Pico brings serious computing power for making demanding, demanding projects. This is my first encounter and first project with this microcontroller, so I will take some time to describe in detail the method of uploading the code. Of course, this time I will use the Arduino ID with the C++ version of the code because I have previous experience with them. Raspberry Pi Pico also supports the MicroPython language, but about that in one of the following projects. Autovis the device is extremely simple to make and consists of only a few components. Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller board. 320 on 240 LCD display with ILI9341 driver chip. Next two pieces resistor 10 kilo ohms and ceramic capacitor 100 nanofarads. As you can see, I, I placed the microcontroller on a suitable base around which there are connectors for connecting external components. In fact, I made a kind of development board so that I could use the microcontroller for the other projects. To install the given code, we first need to install support for Raspberry Pi Pico in Arduino ID. For that purpose, we go to File, Preferences, and in additional boards manager URLs, we need to paste the given link. Ok, ok, again. Then in tools, board manager, we need to enter Raspberry Pi Pico in this field. If the microcontroller board is new and we need to upload C++ code for the first time, we need to do the following procedure. In File, Examples, Basics, we choose Blink Example. Now we, pre we need to press the Boot Cell button on the Pico board and press Upload. And keep the Boot Cell button pressed all the time while the code is being compiled and uploaded. When the upload is complete, the LED on the board will start blinking. This procedure is performed only at the beginning with, when uploading the first code and then the codes are installed by default as 
with Arduino boards. Okay, I, I have not connected Pico board in that moment, but there is no problem. So now we go to file, open, and go to the folder where the specific code is given. In my in my case, this is Pico SSTV folder. And here is the here is the code. Now we need to select appropriate po port and press upload. If we have connected everything correctly according to the given schematic, the Pico SSTV logo will immediately appear on the display. And from that moment the device is ready to receive and process SSTV audio signals. Test audio files are provided in a separate folder as part of the code. Folder with name test file. Uh, this actually recorded SSTV signal signals from real radio receptions. Uh, now we will use them to see what the decoding of the SSTV signal looks like. In fact, with this device, these specific audio signals will be converted into uh, images. Next, I will try to receive and decode SSTV signal in real time with one of my radio receivers. The quality of the received picture depends proportionally on the quality of the SSTV signal reception. This is real slow scan TV signal from my SD Replay software defined radio. Signal is very weak. But let's see how this device works in real conditions. Picture is not clear.
And finally a brief conclusion, this project successfully demonstrates how the Raspberry Pi Pico can independently transform SSTV audio signals into viewable images offering truly standalone and accessible solution that bypasses the traditional need for a PC and sound card. I hope this guide inspires you to explore the exciting world of SSTV and microcontroller based radio projects.